Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to do drug multi-class classification. There's five classes. Okay, so uh, after you find out which region you're in, import the data sets, do a label encoder to strip it, bucket name, and then X equals drug, obviously. Drop drug. And then Y equals drug. And then as type float 32, test rate splint, and uh, we write them, the artifacts, into the train-in test for the S3 buckets. Get image URI, linear learner. At this instance, we deploy a multi-class classifier. Yeah, I found out you could do multi-class classification with linear learner. Okay, here we go. We trained. Here's the thing. I wanted to show you all how to tune the hyperparameters, even though this model was great. This model was 90, towards the end it was like 90, uh, yeah, its best was like 92% accuracy. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 92.8. Okay, then we deploy it this instance. Then we're going to predict the X test. As you can see, the arrays are not all in, uh, since this is not binary, the arrays are not, um, the arrays are not in the same sequence. Okay, and then we'll score and predictions. But here's where we're going to get to the tuning of the hyperparameters. Okay, be sure you're going to have to use a different metric if you guys are using this for regression or binary class classifications. Make sure you don't make the batch size too big or too small. Okay, this is a small data set, so I do it that way. Bayesian is the best strategy. Although this didn't need to be tuned, I just wanted to do this exercise. Okay, guys. And then the date time, just so you can see it. And then, uh, like I showed you last time for training jobs, there's the two endpoints that are deployed. Make sure you don't make the batch size too uh, too big, otherwise you'll have a failed training job. Okay. There, there's the two endpoints. Validation multi-class accuracy is the best metric. Okay. And then uh, it's top. This is using different metrics, but its top was 96%. It's top, yeah. Okay, and then we're going to do results to equals multipred, the one we just deployed. Oh, I forgot to show you guys that one. Multi deploy. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys also one more thing. Okay, remember, you get the model from the training job here. Right here. more specifically right here sorry my computer it's 
I didn't want to go all the way back. Here we go, the job name. Okay, guys. So after you attach it, you get to see how it did. You can always reattach another one. And then there's the, the Docker entry point. Multi-pred equals multi-deploy. CSV and same thing. And then predicted. Remember, there's five classes. Predictions dot flat. The rays are not in the same sequence, so. And then SageMaker Studio does not have a con does not have a visualization libraries to make it easier. You got to use a notebook instance if you're going to use visualization with Matplotlib and all that. Okay, guys, there you have it. Thank you.